Good evening, witnesses call it a human smuggling spectacle. More than 50 illegal immigrants running from a tractor trailer with police trying to chase them down. And a Laredo man suspected of smuggling them into the U.S. behind bars tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Addie Wajardo joins us now live from Northeast San Antonio where the incident began. Eddie. Jeff, this is the alley off Laurelhurst near 410 and Broadway where more than 54 people poured out of a tractor trailer. It's a scene we've seen unfold before at times with a tragic ending, but this time only five people suffered minor injuries. Now authorities have arrested Gerardo Carreon. He faced a judge in court this afternoon and ex expected to be charged for federal human smuggling. It's unclear if he was a truck driver or not. It was originally reported that 55 illegal immigrants were in the truck, but now that number has changed to 54. Officials say the immigrants included men, women, and children from Guatemala, Mexico, El Salvador, and Brazil. Five people were transported to the hospital, like I said, and with minor injuries, and four have since been released. Only one remains in the hospital. Now, back in December, SAPD Chief William McManus faced serious backlash after letting a dozen immigrants found in a truck, truck, excuse me, let go. This time, the agency took the back seat. The case in in December was being charged as a state uh, violation. This case is being charged as a federal violation. Those are two completely different venues and two completely different jurisdictions. Now, we did ask SAPD why the situation was treated differently. They tell us it was they were simply assisting in this case versus back in December when they were actually leading that investigation. Now, since the release of those immigrants in December, a protocol has been put in place by SAPD and HSI to determine who is leading the investigation and how these investigations will be handled. Now, we are told that those people in that truck did have air conditioning and they were hydrated. Now, HSI also tells us that once the court determines who will stay as a witness, the rest of the people will go through removal protocol, which means some of them will be deported back to their country. Reporting live from San Antonio, Addie Guajardo, Kens 5 Eyewitness News.